Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss generic routing encapsulations or GRE. So GRE is a tunneling protocol and this is used to encapsulate network real layer protocols into point to point or point to multi point link. And what is tunneling protocol? Tunneling protocol is a protocol which allows private network data over a public network. For further explanation, let's move to the next slide. So as a public network, I have shown one network over here, this one network. The users of that network are connected with the help of this router and with the help of this public network to some other network. See, so this, this part is the public network. With the help of this public network, we can connect this network with this network. Now, for instance, if you want to have some private communication in this case, then we need some kind of protocol that is called GRE. So we, we discussed in the previous slides, GRE is a tunneling protocol and this provides a tunnel through this private network. So with that, with, within that private network, it will provide a private passage, a private access through which you can send data from this network to this network. So you can see this tunnel as a concept of this GRE or tunneling protocol. See, and this tunnel protocol will have some interface. We call them tunnel interface. So this is the tunnel interface one and this is the tunnel interface two. Maybe this is the interface on this side of the network and this tunnel interface is on this side of the network. And then when a user or the user from one network sends some IP packet to the other end of the network or to other network, it will create or it will generate an IP packet. And this tunneling protocol will introduce a new header by itself that is GRE header. And there will also be another, another part to this packet that is called delivery header. And this delivery header is basically the tunnel interface IP addresses. So you see in this in this header you will have the IP addresses from these interfaces. So you see the this will be an interfaces of this tunnel and the these interfaces will have an IP address and those IP addresses will be in this delivery header. And at the destination when this complete packet receives at this destination the destination will remove these headers from that packet so this, this is they are going to be removed and this final packet which was actually sent by this network this packet will be processed by this network now see for further uh, exploration of the same topic tunnel is shown here and in this tunnel Again, this tunnel will have an interface, this, so this is maybe you can say this is ingoing interface and this is outgo outgoing interface and these interfaces will have an IP address. So the router use IP addresses in the subnet, in the same subnet. So these interfaces will have an IP addresses and those IP addresses will be within the same subnet. So this is clear from that 192.168.10.1. 192.168.10.2 so these interfaces no matter how far away these interfaces are but both of the ends of interfaces will have IP address within the same subnet and these networks these private networks can have any IP address in any class or any subnet so you can see 172.16.0.1 so this is a class B IP address and here you see they are in class A um, uh, network but the tunnel can have any any address in any class but they need to be in the same subnet and for this you can see for the tunnel the same something is going to be repeated when the user generates some data and this passes through this router this will have only this part the IP packet and when this data is received at this interface, this tunneling protocol will introduce these 
these two parts into the packet one is GRE header and second one is the delivery header in that delivery header there will be this IP address as well as this IP address and the data will flow from this tunnel to the ultimate destination and 